Welcome to what's been a very eventful week. It's only Thursday. To the Robbie V Show. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, having a good, had a good week and whatnot. So let's get right to it. Uh, I guess we'll talk about the Minifan drama that's been going on, but I'm not going to beat that to death. I mean, I said what I said, and I, you know, take it or leave it. I'll talk about just little issues with people just going over the line. Obviously, we'll talk sports lock of the week and um, talk a little Bruins who are winning uh, one nothing right now. All right, so the Minifan drama. Unless you've been living under a rock or aren't a part of the various chats. Yeah, there's some shit with Kane, shit with Manor, shit with, um, I think it was Tuesday night, they did a stream. Yeah, I guess my final take on that is it was over the line. It was, you know, they went well above and beyond over the line, mentioning, you know, mentioning people's kids, wives, etc. It's pretty much unacceptable, and hopefully, you know, Minifans fans and everyone can, um, uh, just be better. I also think Kirk, you know, I don't, I don't think I'm the only one who thinks this, but Kirk took it easy a little bit on manners, but whatever. It is what it is. It's the old saying goes. All right, so I guess people just need to respect each other, you know? Be careful out there, folks. Be careful. All right, college football. Um, lock of the week. I'm thinking, um, what's their names? Um, you can tell I've really looked at this a lot. It's another shot in the dark lock of the week. Ah, what the hell? Take Colorado over KC, over Kansas. Kansas hasn't played well all year. Colorado seems to have hit a groove. The line's minus 2.5. I think Colorado's going to take it. Um, if you want to take that, then minus 2.5 points. Why don't we just go money line because I can't you know, hit the broad side of a barn for minus 135. I don't want to root for Deion Sanders, but... Hey, they are playing well. It's gonna Kansas Stadium's not that imposing. I know JT Daniels has picked it up, but he's played terrible all year. I mean the other game I'd look at would be um Texas at Kentucky I mean, Texas at home against Kentucky. Kentucky has nothing to play for. I mean, they they can't pass the ball, they can only really run the ball. Um, this isn't a lock of the week, but it's a game I definitely look at. And, you know, with Archie Manning and the you know, the quarterback for Texas if he goes down Pretty much good either way. And Texas is number three. They want this game. They're not going to let up. And I, and I like Texas, so hook them horns, baby. Um, I like, what was it? Michigan. I'm not Michigan. Oh, yeah, I guess another thing for college football. These NIL deals are just getting out of control. Um, there was one, um, I saw recently a quarterback flip for Michigan. It was uh, 10 point. He's getting something like 10 point something million on the uh, on his NIL deal. I mean, when are we going to hit like $100 million for to play like college football? I think NIL is honestly ruining the game. I wish it would go back to the old way. But once you open up Pandora's box, you really can't do anything about it. Um, I, I guess that's what, you know, that's what happens when you opened up Pandora. Uh, let's see. Um, I guess uh, BC, oh yeah, BC is playing this week and against North Carolina. Couple of things for that game. If you can bet it, and you you're um, you're not you don't live in Massachusetts, take the under. It's gonna be raining. It's gonna be raining. The weather's gonna be shit. The weather's shit right now. Um, but what are you gonna do? You know. So and um, obviously Grayson James proved that he you know is a great player and whatnot last week. And I think BC is gonna be motivated. I think it's our last home game. They want you know seniors want to go out in style um, with a win. And I think Billy O'Brien's going to have the team prepared. They played great against all LSU, SMU last week. Even though SMU had that completely bullshit fucking call, um, you know, to go for a TD with, like, literally a minute remaining when they had the game in hand. I think that was beyond Bush League. You know, dope of the day obviously goes to them. I, I you know, SMU, I understand if they're a little salty from getting their ass kicked in Fenway last year by BC and TC. Tom Castellanos, you know, RIP. His BC career is gone, but I don't think you should fucking do that. But you know that's the thing with TCU's. They don't have, I mean, SMU. They don't have a lot of class. So what are you gonna do? I didn't sleep much last night, so good times. All right. Um. The other thing is, what was it? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, C Cleveland had a snow game tonight. That was that was interesting. Um. I. 
I honestly think the Steelers are going to take it. I don't. I don't. I mean, it, this is going to be after the fact. So yeah, Steelers are up three nothing. Um, the under is looking fucking great though. I mean, Jesus. Uh, it's only th- three points, and it's midway through the second quarter. I mean, under right now, under to start was like 36.5. But Cleveland still has a great defense, and, you know, so the Steelers. So we'll see what happens with that game. Uh, pro games, you know, I guess nomination for slaughter of the century is uh, Kansas City versus Carolina, especially um, Kansas City coming off that bad loss. I mean, that loss to Buffalo. Kudos to Josh Allen. He played his fucking head off. MVP performance, I mean. He literally took the team on his back, made, you know, made a great run, and did awesome. I mean, he's a great player and whatnot. Uh, the Patriots, look, I'm a fan, but, you know, I, th- I think Miami will probably do them in, especially because they're playing at home. They play better at home. Patriots offense is definitely something to be desired. Even though they put up 22 on the Rams, I just, I don't know. But they might come out and surprise some people because, you know, Lord knows Miami doesn't have the greatest defense. I mean, we'll see. Uh, the Jeff, the Giants' death march continues. Um, the Lions' six against Tampa Bay. I mean, Daniel Jones is no longer the quarterback. You know, he's getting paid a lot of money to sit on the bench, I'll tell you that much. I mean, talk about an easy job. <laughs> but, I don't know. The Giants are a dumpster fire. I mean, they're like, you know, there's not much they can do. I mean, they literally need two years of, like, a number one picks, you know, in all the rounds to like turn that franchise around because no, I mean, Dave, Dave Spolzer is going to be the coach next year. I saw the owner doesn't want to, um, you know, go through four or five cycles of firing people, which is just fucking ridiculous, but whatever. I mean, if your team sucks, your team sucks. You need to do something about it. Uh, yeah, what the hell? I like the Texans against the Titans. That's going to be the lock of the week for, um, for football. Titans got nothing to play for. Uh, they're not that good. You know, they had a fire sale. Uh, Texans have everything to play for. You know, trying try to make the playoffs, trying to do their thing. And, um, yeah, they got a good team. Stroud, they're at home. There's no reason that they can't pull that off. Um, Cowboys are just a dumpster fire, man. They suck. Um, you know, obviously with the injury of Doc Prescott, and just even before that, I think they were like 3-7, 3-8. The commander is probably going to take them to the woodshed this week. And who, I mean, who knew Washington was going to be be this good? And one player, Jaden Daniels, was going to make this big of a turnaround for them. It's pretty insane. Um, what was it the nine uh, Eagles versus the Rams? That I mean, that's going to be a home game for the Eagles. You know, because the Rams. I mean, no one in, in LA gives a fuck about football. It's pretty. It's pretty simple. Thanksgiving games, eh. I mean, Lions at the Bears, it's going to be a fucking slaughter. Uh, you know, it's at 12.30. And then the Cowboys versus um, the Giants. I mean, who cares? <laughs> like, I think you're dope of the day if you bring your family to that game. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I, I mean, as much as I love football, I wouldn't, I mean, if, even if I was a fan of both those teams, I don't think I would go. Even if I had a limo to the fucking game. I mean, it's just so stupid. Chiefs Raiders. I mean, on the Friday, it's interesting. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. I mean, Chiefs are gonna take it, you know, barring Patrick Mahomes doesn't um, get you know get injured or whatever this Sunday. Um, I guess news. Might as well talk a little news. What the hell? Boston.com. Yeah, Celtics visited the White House. Apparently, it didn't go that well. Biden had a little trouble, I guess. Um, but that's okay. He's going to be out of the office in 60 days anyway. Um, they had a, yeah, he got confused about the name of the basketball team. I mean, uh, it's like, what are you, you going to do? You know, poor Joe. But he's, he's loving life. And um, I don't know. I, I kind of, I mentioned this on the spaces. I kind of want Army to beat Notre Dame. You know, it would be nice. Nice they could just, you know, take Notre Dame to the woodshed. Not with the woodshed, just win. I don't care about how much. I mean, I wouldn't. But what are you going to do? Um, you know, mortgage rates are up. Up near 7%. That's terrible. You know, Karen Reed sold a home for 800000 in Mansfield. You know, I don't know who's going to buy that. I mean, 
I know she's got legal bills. I mean, I'm surprised she isn't suing everyone everyone in their pants off to freaking get some money back for all those false accusations. It's just fucking bullshit. I mean, how much is her story worth, for God's sakes, at this point? Like, 10, 20 million? Like, I mean, I'm not going to be writing the, bi- you know, the biography. I mean, I might write the forward. I mean, if I'm asked, I'll definitely do it. But I don't know. It's just, um, it's something. But what are you going to do? Yeah, Karen Reed, if you want me to write the forward to your book, I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely do that, do that for you. Um, oh, by the way, you know, PRC had a new show on the network this week, and um, you know, I thought it was great. I definitely encourage you to watch it. You know, it came to the, you know, it came to the good network. I mean, the other network. I don't know. We got some issues going on over there, but you know why not? Um, what else is going on? Yeah, I guess dope of the days. I mean, you can figure. Oh, by the way, an official announcement from the Rob V Show. Dick, dick, dick. Um, Jake is no longer more of the month. So, Jake, you're off the hook. So enjoy, enjoy being off the hook. You know, you uh, you've been absolved, and uh, yeah, appreciate the apologies and. What happened on the vets and yeah man join the join the spaces anytime man you're always welcome you know that um i don't know it's um what's going on news i mean news and opinion yeah i think we all know you know matters in canada dope of the day that's fine um no suffix mvp also winning a championship visiting the white house um yeah, yeah. Other than that, you know, it's been a uh, it's been it's been a heck of a week. Uh, I think the you know Bruins management actually they will be my dope of the day. Um, you know, they, as much as we all you know Montgomery, I don't think was the problem. I think um, what's his name? Um, you know, Neely and Sweeney obviously are the problem. You know, they just gave Montgomery a terrible team and. Basically, Montgomery's being scapegoated because of it. I mean, I think they obviously need to look inside and figure out how to get, make this team better. Um, they're definitely dope of the day for, you know, terrible signings and whatnot. I mean, it's just awful. Maybe even in the running for Wonk of the Week. I mean, I'm surprised the Jacobs brothers haven't fucking fired both of them, personally. But, I mean, I guess that's life. All right. So, this is the end of the show, you know. Hey, what are you going to do? It's been a hell of a week. I hope everyone has a good weekend, and we'll have a uh, we're gonna have a special uh, turkeys of the year. Actually, no, not turkeys of the year. No. We're gonna have um, wonks of the year. You know, so who's in the who's in the running for the you know basically the wonk of the year? All right. And uh, hey, good luck to Steve from Gloucester on his parents next week. If he watches the show, I don't, I don't know if he does, but you know, good luck, buddy. All right, hey guys, I'll uh, talk to you later. All right, this is Robbie V in a blue shirt from the Ritz Carlton because I um can't I can't film streams in my own home. Signing off.